States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. Good stuff. I love it. Yay. We got, uh, we got a lot of people that have commented, of course, last night when, when this whole thing went down. Or not when it went down, but when it was, you know, announced, everybody was commenting about it on Facebook, and I kind of thrown out there, so, what, you know, what do you think? The president had given his speech. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to know what people thought. What did you think of, of the speech? Mm. What were you thinking when you heard the news? Do you think that the Taliban is going to, not the Taliban, but Al-Qaeda, right. is going to retaliate? And how long? Two six zero nine eight seven zero. That's the number. Uh, give us a buzz when you get a chance. We wanted to also give some props to, uh, you know, to all of our 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 troops out there. Of course, our armed forces. Nice job, ladies and gentlemen. Men and women out there, absolutely. Um, one in particular, Sean Anthony Vance, Lance Corporal, Marine. Oh yes. Yeah, his dad called in, so give him a shout out. Awesome. So it's our pleasure and our honor to do so. Yes. Thank you for doing what you do. All right, Osama, 260-9870 or 411-987. Uh, you can go ahead and text us there as well. Texting, of course, brought to us by Sanderson, Volvo, of Phoenix. Don't text and drive. Please don't text and drive. Uh, just so you know, obviously we've been talking about it. Osama bin Laden was killed uh, in a stunning finale um, to his decade on the run. It was a military operation. It took mere minutes. He was shot in the head, officials said, uh, after he and his bodyguards resisted the assault. Three adult males were also killed in the raid, including one of bin Laden's sons, whom officials did not name. Now, they did disclose that they buried him at sea because they said it would be difficult to find someone willing to accept his remains. And President Obama said the remains had been handled in in accordance with Islamic custom, which requires a speedy burial. Now, he was hiding out in a million-dollar mansion. It was a small team of Navy SEALs. They choppered in from Afghanistan, dropped in the compound to capture bin Laden. Uh, the whole thing took about 40 minutes. No American casualties. The SEALs had practiced the raid before they went in, and clearly they nailed it. Now we have no idea what's going to happen after this temporarily. There's going to be a boost in terror alerts for fear that al-Qaeda may come back and do something. Um, we're going to have to just stay vigilant. There's going to be extra security at the airports. Bear with it, people. Just FYI, yeah. oil prices fell sharply from their two-year highs to a near $112 a barrel Hey-o! on Monday after we announced that Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden is dead. That's so... Uh, the dollar rose, oil prices fell, mm-hmm. <laughs> people's pockets everywhere rejoice. It was a good thing. We'll see if it affects gas prices all right off the bat. Yeah. I'm waiting for the TV movie. I think... or it's, I, I, guess, I bet it's not even going to be a TV movie. It's going to be a major motion picture. Okay. I can't wait to see this. Even when you were telling me that you know what happened there with the Navy SEALs and the LA practice and they dropped in, there's no casualties. I cannot wait for them to put this on the big screen. Oh, it'll be good. Isn't that going to be good? Oh, my goodness. 260-9870. That is the number. Chris and Amy in the morning. Last night, mm-hmm. when you watched President Obama's speech, what were you thinking? We got some texts in, okay. and someone said, you should be playing the theme from Team America. Okay, good call. Someone said, first, welcome back. Second, don't you find it suspicious how quickly they're trying to get rid of the body? Uh, see, you know, it, uh, see this know. is the thing. Everybody's going to be off doing the, uh, you know, the conspiracy theory thing. Right. I don't. But isn't it funny how he's, he was hiding in plain sight? Yeah, they actually said that he was hiding, and they were... Um, there was a bunch of deliveries that were going to that to the mansion, right? And they were burning all of their trash. Now, if you've been oh. hiding out for so long, maybe you've gotten a little uh, sloppy, which he did. Thank you for getting sloppy. Right. That's how they found him. I just want to play this in the background for all Please the troops. Please do. Oh, so. great job. Um, yeah, we're, we're very curious to hear your comments. Like we said, you can always text us four one one nine eight seven, or you can always hit us up on the phone two six zero nine eight seven zero. Here's the thing, I'm wondering. If this isn't going to get President Obama a second term, mm. do you know what I mean? Because let's be honest. I mean, as, as horrific as it was, that whole tragedy. It, I mean, you know, George W. Bush was a, was a hero to us after that. Do you know what I mean? Right after how he handled after 9/11. how he handled nine eleven. Yeah, um, and I'm wondering if if this isn't going to be President Obama's campaign platform. I might you know I mean? be. It might be. And was, was was I the only one that thought that when he was giving the speech? No, I thought that as well. But uh, of course he's going to use that. But you could also say that well, President Clinton and President Bush also had a hand in that because they have been trying for years to get him. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. So interesting stuff. We're curious to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and give us a text or a call when you get a chance. And I wanted to say this too. Out of uh, we got 
I can't even tell you how many uh, Facebook responses we got off of this, mm -hmm. but uh, a guy, a dude by the name of Justin Morris, had emailed me or sent me a message yeah. and said, you should play something great for the troops, like play a full song for them, um, just for all the hard work that they've done and then all the hard work that they've continued to do yeah. for us, the American people. Mm -hmm. So uh, coming up right after this, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, this one's going to be going out to the troops, of course, from us here at 98.7 The Peak and, and all over the valley, really. It's on the way, 98.7 The Peak. You know, you always want to give credit where credit is due. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, the presidents over the years have had something to do with this big, momentous, historic right. takedown. Mm -hmm. But there's also a group of people that just cannot get enough credit. They just can't. The military, the SEAL team that did it, and the intelligence agencies that got the information. All of the men and women who serve us every day in the armed forces. Absolutely right. And we cannot thank you, thank you enough. We can try, but we just never can. So if you're in the armed forces, men and women, thank you. Thank you for what thank you do you. for us. It was a day like uh, like we haven't seen in quite a while. Yes. A while. Mm -hmm. And finally, it was something good. I mean, yeah. it was something good that we all went, oh, thank goodness, thank God. Mm. Last night, of course, uh, you've got to know by now, you've been hearing everybody, I'm sure, on the TV and radio and mm -hmm. everywhere else barking about it all over the Internet. Osama bin Laden. Right. Uh, reported officially dead. Okay. Killed by the hands of the U.S. Navy SEALs, nice our, job. Our hardworking men and women in the armed forces. Yep. Doing their job proudly and well. Mm -hmm. As we hear this type of information, it comes in and affects us all in different ways. But what if you were there? At 9-11? What if you were there at 9-11? What if you were yeah. in New York? What if you were at Ground Zero? What if you were at the Pentagon? What went through your head when you heard this news? We got a hold of, uh, of one of our awesome friends here on the peak, one of our listeners, Cindy from Phoenix. Cindy, good morning. How did it make you feel? Oh, shaking. Mixed feelings. Mostly happy. I want to go ahead and introduce you, Cindy. Okay. Because we care how everybody's doing. Right. But, but especially you. Yeah, we're asking you specifically for a good reason. Yeah. Cindy okay. is a 9-11 survivor. Where were you on 9-11? Uh, I moved to Phoenix from New York City, where I worked near Wall Street, a quarter mile south of the World Trade Center. And on that morning, I had just come out of the subway, and uh, I was going to go into the World Trade Center to buy cards at the Hallmark in the mall in the mezzanine. And the North Tower was already burning, and we were standing around staring at it, wondering how the hell something like that could happen. Um, the second plane flew right over my head and smashed into the South Tower. And that day, we just kind of watched people die all day and wondered if we were going to die next and didn't know how to get out. Oh, my God. Wow. Yes, I obviously still have some PTSD. When you heard those words come out of his mouth that they have killed Osama bin Laden, what were your first feelings? Um, about time, really, about time. Those were my first feelings, and um, let's see him. Well, I'll tell you, it would give me a sense of relief to know that he's gone, and I, I don't mean to be a big downer. I'm, over, I'm overjoyed that this man is finally eradicated from the planet, but, um, you know, there's going to be people who are going to want to take his place. There are going to be... Um, you know, there's going to be probably some retaliation. I just really, really hope the reason it took so long to remove him was because people much more in the know than we are were preparing for the repercussions. That's I, great. I've wanted the same thing. Point. What took so long? But, you know, maybe they were doing things right. Maybe there were people that knew more than we do. Yeah, there are a few of those out there. Cindy, can you hang on for us? Uh, Cindy, of course, it was a 9-11 survivor. She was there. She was in New York when mm -hmm. everything went down. And, you know, it's one thing to get everybody's opinion. You know, when we weren't there, we saw it on TV, and we, we all had our own emotions. But to talk to somebody that was there mm -hmm. and get their emotions when they hear that this monster has finally been killed. I wow. Have, I have chills right now. Like, I really, really do, because it is a special day for Americans. But especially 9-11 survivors. Oh, so. my goodness, yeah. I want to talk to Cindy a little bit more mm. uh, in a few minutes. So you guys just hang on. Cindy, if you'd hang on, that would be wonderful. 98.7 The Peak. It's all about variety. Chris and Amy in the morning. A, a glorious day in the name of all things that America stands for. Yes, it is. A it's terrorist, fantastic. a murderer, a killer mm -hmm. has been killed. Someone who changed our lives and our history forever is now gone. And speaking of having your life changed... 
I don't know that you could have it changed much more than being there when 9-11 happened. Right. We were talking yeah. to her earlier. Cindy's on the phone. Cindy from Glendale. Cindy, have you been back to Ground Zero since this whole thing happened? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And what what, yeah, what went through your head? When, what went through your head when you walked up to this spot that you were? I mean, you were standing and you saw the pl- You saw the buildings crashing down. Just you know, you know that hole in the ground was a hole in the heart. I mean this from the bottom of our hearts here. Mm-hmm. When I when I say this for both Amy and I, um, thank you for calling in and sharing with us. I just wanted to talk to somebody, and you guys are good to talk to. Oh, so sweet. Thanks so much, Cindy. We appreciate it. Not to get even more sappy on you, mm-hmm. but just so you know. You're never calling into radio DJs when you call in here. Yeah, we're, no. we're the worst DJs in the world. That's true. Seriously, we're just your friends. 98.7 The Peak. Once again, once again, want to go uh, And that was that was a that was a song right there. Mm-hmm. Just a, a September song. You talk about September. Oh, 11. sure, yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Um, once again, we want to say thank you so much. If you are in the valley and you are a reservist or you're active or you're inactive or you are a veteran or whatever. We want to say thank you so, so, so very much for everything you've done, everything you continue to do mm-hmm. in uh, efforts to protect our country and make sure that we all stay safe. That's right. Thank you. Um, we do have we have one more 9-11 survivor that was there. Mm-hmm. And I just think it's so interesting to talk to some of these people that call in, you know, that were there and hear about their emotions last night when they heard the news that Osama was dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Florence from Glendale. Florence, what what went through your head when you hear it? You see it on the news. CNN's on, Fox News, whatever you're watching. Osama bin Laden, dead, confirmed. They got him, finally. And where were you on 9-11, Florence? I was standing outside of the Trade Center when the second plane went through the building. I worked in the uh, World Financial Center. I just came off the train, like Cindy just said, and um, the building shook when the first plane hit. Didn't quite know what to do, but went ahead and went outside and back of my building and stood there and watched, and nobody at that point knew what was happening, and um, all of a sudden somebody in the crowd yelled, oh my God, there's another one coming, and we looked up and the plane just sliced through the building. Uh, the, every bit of the emotion that I had on that day came flooding back in an instant. It was just like you cry, you're happy, and it's it's just something I can't describe. Florence, I want to I want to say this, and I mean this from from the bottom of both of our hearts, because um, we do, we really do, and I, and I know a lot of DJs say this, but we really mean it when we say that we consider. You know, the people that call in and people that listen and comment and things like that, we really do consider them our friends. Yeah. Because it, it really means a lot to us. I love you guys. Thank you. Florence, we love you too. And you know what? Enjoy this day. Oh, I will. I love it. Wow. I love that they're sharing this. It's so cool. Well, it's nice because it lets us, the people who weren't there but maybe watched it on TV, heard it on the radio, it lets us live a little sort of vicariously through them. Yeah. Getting absolutely. their feelings. And it's really uh, very touching. Absolutely. Ninety-eight seven, the peak. Man, I've been fighting back the tears all day. Between between the Star Spangled Banner and the Le- Le- Re- I can't even speak anymore. The Lee Greenwood song. Oh, I'm done. God bless you, USA. I'm oh done. my goodness, forget it. Chills go up, the goosebumps come out. Yeah. Good day for America. 